Greetings. Let's run through the installation process for the Malaco handlebars, which are pretty awesome, on this Priority 600 bike of mine. So I'm doing this uh, before I've ever ridden the bike. Just got this bike. Very excited to put on these bars, which I think are going to be awesome. So first things first, we're going to take off the handlebar grip on the right side by loosening a hex nut. And then we are going to loosen the pinion drivetrain shifter and then loosen the bolt for the brake lever, take off the light, and then go to the other side of the bike and loosen that handlebar grip as well. It has two bolts holding it on, so loosen both of those. Notice I'm not sliding anything with the cable off of it except for that left front brake until I get the handlebars completely off. That way I don't have to worry about stretching the cables unnecessarily. So you can take the handlebars off by loosening the four hex bolts at the top of the stem and then here's our new bars. We'll go ahead and put on the right brake the pinion shifter, get that left brake on, anything with the cable we want on the handlebars before we reattach it to the handlebar stem. Now we're just going to thread these four bolts, get them all started before tightening them in an X pattern as you can see. Definitely pause and slow down the video if you need to see this at a slower speed. Now we can adjust the handlebar angle to the way we want it before getting all four of these bolts nice and snug. If you have a torque wrench, you can tighten them to the manufacturer's specifications, which is 6 newton meters. But with metal on metal, I just go snug. I only use that thing with carbon. So now we're going to get that left handlebar back installed. Tighten up that brake line. Notice how we have good spacing between the brake grip and the hand grip, so that's not going to be in our way, but we have good access to it. Get the light reinstalled. And now we can go ahead and install the next handlebar grip. And it looks like the interior stopper nut for it was stuck in the old handlebars, so we got that out and we're going to carefully nest it back in using a small hex wrench and then put it back on the bar. You know it's working when you get good tension. All right. Cool, now that we got that done, we'll adjust the pinion shifter so it's where we want it, and then we'll adjust the elevation of that right brake handle so it's where we want it as well. Going ahead and checking that left hand grip for its inside stopper again. Can't really find it in the outside bar, so we're just going to use the clamp to get it nice and secure, which is a good option. At this point, this bike's pretty ready to go. I'm just adjusting the stem so that the handlebars are perfectly aligned with the wheel while we're standing over the bike. This handlebar is now installed, and in another video, we'll go ahead and wrap it. So stay tuned for that.